and we are live ladies and gentlemen welcome to EarthaCast. it's so nice to see you all here my name is aeon i'm the head of community for eartha and joining me today are three very wonderful people rosion coo cheat doe rosion's marketing manager danny Wee, and of course the game master of eartha linas it's wonderful to have you on, so let's start with introductions right away. So, Chi, could you introduce yourself to our viewers and tell them a little bit about what you do at Roseon? So, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Chido. Right now, I'm currently uh, head of Roseon as well as COO. Uh, I used to work for uh, a crypto exchange that using Huobi Cloud before, and then uh, uh, and then I, I, I met Alan and then we co-founded uh, Rojang. Uh, I've been crypto, I've been in crypto space since uh, 2016 and still learning from it every day. So right now, uh, mostly my job is focused on building the app for, you know, for uh, onboarding user easier and, and make them feel you know, easier to uh, and um, to go to Web3, DeFi, and GameFi. Awesome, awesome. All right, and what about Danny? Could you say a few words about yourself? Okay, hello everyone. So I'm Danny, I'm Marketing Manager of Grosion. Uh, so uh, at Grosion, I, uh, I have the team to build and lead the marketing and community team uh, to talk to the app, to the market, and acquire almost 200,000 uh, users and 12,000 daily active users from the scrap. Uh, so I, uh, before ro uh, joining Rosion, so I used to work in traditional gaming industry for uh, around three years. So such as uh, GameLog, I used to work at GameLog and Abanos, uh, top uh, publisher in South Asia. It's, not, it's uh, my pleasure to be here and uh, time for, uh, for the chain to talk with uh, uh, people uh, with everyone here. All right, awesome. So it seems that both of you really do have quite a lot of experience in this field uh, right away. And uh, since this field is so fresh, that experience really uh, is really valuable, basically. So, all right. And now for Eartha, uh, Linus, could you introduce yourself to the Rosion community that's joining us today? Yeah, so it's great to be here with you all. So my name is Linus. I'm the game master of Eartha and the creator. So uh, currently we're working with our team on building our beta version and developing new features and updates for the game. Awesome, awesome. All right, so uh, now that we have gotten to know our uh, participants, uh, I'll just take a moment to uh, introduce the schedule of the event itself. So first, we're going to jump into a discussion about Eartha, Roseon, and other various topics that will come up uh, that are related to crypto and the blockchain world. Uh, it wouldn't be an overstatement to call our participants experts in this field, so I'm sure we'll all be interested in what they have to say. Then in the uh, second part of the broadcast, we'll jump into an AMA where all of us will be answering questions asked or asked right here in the Twitch chat. Uh, also, we are currently running a huge giveaway featuring Roseon, so make sure to join for a chance to win NFT prizes. And at the end of the stream, we will share an exclusive bonus code that will give 10 extra entries into the giveaway. So the only way to get it will be through this stream, so make sure to stay till the, the very end. I'm going to link the giveaway in the chat as well with the code, so you'll be able to join. So so without further ado, let's drive straight in and talk about the projects themselves. Uh, since Rosion is our guest, uh, they have the honor of going first. So Chi, Danny, could you let our viewers know what Rosion is? Imagine someone hearing the name Rosion for the first time. Uh, what would you say to bring them up to speed? Okay, so I will talk, uh, introduce about Rosion. So Rosion app, so let's start with the app. So Rosion app is a one one stop crypto lifestyle app. Uh, we have play to earn game, we have DeFi, and we have the launch part. Everything on the app. And so the the mission, uh, our mission is to simplify uh, crypto journey and uh, get uh, let everyone can uh, get access to crypto more easily and confident. So right now, our app uh, help nearly. Uh, 200,000 users globally, and every day we have around 12,000 uh, 12, uh, daily active users. Uh, so 
more than that, we uh, Roseon is also the whole ecosystem, and we will build the metaverse, our own metaverse, very soon. Uh, the metaverse is a team park virtual world where everyone can socialize, experience virtual life, play game, enjoy many features from the app, and also create create their own game. Awesome. So awesome. Inside metaverse, yeah. So in uh, so uh, to add up into our ecosystem ecosystem, so we also have the uh, uh, besides the app, besides the metaverse, so we also have the uh, venture, we also have the virtual, the fourth virtual KOL in the blockchain space. Awesome, awesome. That's quite an innovation. And nice to hear that you already have quite a lot of users using your platform daily and just in general. So, all right. So I'm sure uh, that viewers joining from the Roseon side who wish to learn more about Eartha are also interested. So, Linus, could you say a few words about Eartha and what we do over here? Yeah, sure. So let me introduce you a bit about what we do here at Eartha. So basically, it's a social strategic multiplayer metaverse game that is currently in development. Well, it's all about making your place here where you live in the metaverse with adventure, economics, politics, and science as the driving forces of the game. And uh, we're trying to create the game uh, so that it would be built for players who enjoy making plans, developing their own character and environment they play in and turning uh, their businesses or their venues that they create in game into an enterprises that could potentially even earn them money while playing. So that's essentially uh, our time. Awesome, awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's for the Roseon community that are joining us today. Uh, hope to see a few faces here in Earth as well. So uh, moving on. So uh, let's talk about Roseon. So, how does Roseon fit into Web3? Uh, what main problems does your project solve? And I think this is a question for uh, Chi. Yeah. So actually, I, I think Web3 nowadays is the you know the hottest uh, word in you know in trending. Everyone talk about Web3. Yeah. But actually, it's a little bit hard for you know, for the new user when they just came into crypto space. They you know, they have to, you know, they have to set up MetaMask, they have to understand what Web3 is. So it's a little bit hard for them. So that's why we create Rojan. We are, our app is a little bit, is like a hybrid, hybrid uh, solution. Is uh, it uh, with the uh, easiest um, u user experience. So the user, they still, you know, they're still uh, familiar with Web2, right? They, they still lock in, they still do everything. But under you know, in the back end, we do everything with Web3. So it's like uh, it makes the user feel um, easier. They don't have to afraid. And you know, like view farming, like they have to research pool. It, you know, they don't need to do that. We will do that for them. And and to keep up with the you know, the, the chain after the DeFi, we can see that GameFi is is bloom. Right? So that's why we in addition we give them more fun with our mini game. So they totally uh, earn the reward, staking without paying anything. So that is where we fit them. Awesome, awesome. Yes, because uh, Web3 and blockchain and crypto is inherently complicated, right? It's a lot of technical stuff. And really, it is uh, up to us, the developers of projects and the creators of projects to make sure that our communities really have the easiest and best possible experience while signing up for this Web3 uh, space. So maybe Linus can add something from the Earth side about how important it is for us to uh, make sure to have a good and easy to understand user experience here in Eartha. Exactly. So I really do feel what uh, she's trying to say uh, because we also are trying to build a way for uh, players who are not really uh, that familiar with all the block blockchain and crypto stuff to be able to just create their character without that, you know, all the MetaMask stuff. Uh, so we are building our um, backend in such a way so that it would be easy to get your own wallet inside the game and so that it would work with the game flawlessly. Exactly. Do you think it's 
an important feature for every single project out there in the web web three space no matter what they're trying to do is to just have a good user experience and uh onboard the users about crypto and blockchain step by step yes um our project by itself is a project that tries to uh educate the, the users about the world that we live in and blockchain will be a big part of the world we are going to face in the upcoming you know 10 years of our life so uh there will also be probably even studies inside the game which will be related to blockchain stuff and obviously like tutorials and stuff that uh, helps player on board into the game uh, in the easiest way possible all right and going back to Roseon, so uh what do you think uh, are those key features that really put you ahead of your competitors the key features that really help your community and your users to understand the blockchain world and understand the web3 world basically how are you onboarding those new users uh do you have any specific features that just really uh, shine out shine you out from your competitors so i think uh what we have like our like a key point here is we uh you know users they don't need to to know anything about farming everything they just put them uh the token in the pool and then we do the rest for them that is what we how we convenient is is just one click and uh, yes and and the way we onboard them is it's like a normal app. It's like a normal app that they use daily, so it makes them feel uh, familiar. Yeah, exactly. Two key things that, yeah, two exactly. Key things that make us yeah. Yeah, so your goal is basically to just make the user experience as uh, as quick and as easy as possible to, for example, to stake tokens, right, to, to buy tokens uh, and, and things like that. So uh, your whole uh, direction is to just make that as easy as possible. Yeah. all right all right awesome awesome uh so what features are you mostly working on at the moment are there uh any other areas that you're exploring with your app or is this the main focus you're uh, currently working on so actually when we first started the app that is what we focus on we focus on how to onboard them into DeFi. we already finished that thing so now we focus on the game faster where we we like uh, uh i can say we like um a hybrid casual uh, publishing game platform. So right now we we are partnering with um, um, many game studio to bring their web two game into our app, and then we uh, let our user to uh, play with that, earn point the point system in our in our in our app, and then they can convert into the reward. So we are acquiring new gamer users into our app, and then in the long term, we the like what uh, Danny said above, so we will create our own metaverse where we can bring uh, on the user from the app into our metaverse. Awesome, and maybe Danny can ex expand on that as well uh, about the partnerships uh, that you're currently doing. So, how important are partnerships to you? How how many of them? Uh, is it the quantity? Is it the quality of the partnerships? Maybe you can talk talk a little bit about that. So I can say until now, so we got more than 100 partners. Uh, so our partners are very a lot. So uh, this can be from uh, the tech integration, uh, from exchange, from uh, from uh, DeFi, from GameFi, and even e-commerce. So we work closely with them. Uh, we have uh, we have some larger staking program. Uh, we partner with game some give some uh, game studio to uh, to publish the game on our platform. Uh, we we launch them on our landpad. Uh, so right now our landpad can uh, support token sale and entity sale. So it means that we can have them launch uh, launch NFT or launch token. So and there will be a lot of things that we can cooperate with our partner. Awesome, awesome. And like our viewers already know, we've uh, recently uh, partnered with you guys, which which is awesome. And maybe Linus can uh, add a bit more to that as well. So uh, how important are partnerships uh, and metaverse integrations to our own metaverse Eartha? Oh, yeah, it's very important. Uh, you know, um, the, 
definition of metaverse is uh, something that you would want to be in in different projects. Uh, it's not something that would be like you just play uh, SimCity and uh, you keep everything there and you don't own anything. So the idea is that you have to, um, we have to shift from that thinking that every project is um, like separate and they don't share anything into a future where projects will do share a lot of stuff. And it is uh, our priority to gather, um, well, as many and as good uh, partners uh, as possible so that we could create that experience for our um, players or people who are interested in into Erta to actually experience uh, you know what will be normal in the future yeah and actually that's a good point there's so many uh different metaverse projects that are popping up right and would it wouldn't it, wouldn't it not make sense for the whole web3 space in general to to become a metaverse itself basically basically every single project is a part of this already huge thing that's uh taking the world by storm so it would make sense to start calling Web3 in itself uh, Metaverse, right? Like, that's what I would be thinking uh, at that point. Probably, probably. Well, Metaverse is a new term, and I think it will find its own way, you know? And it might yeah. go the way you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Because over the last year, the term Metaverse has been thrown around here and there uh, quite liberally. So, uh, and maybe uh, Rosie on side could add something to that as well. What do you think the Metaverse will actually defi define itself as? Like, let's say in a few years when things have settled down and the, the projects that are uh, valuable uh, stay ahead and the projects that weren't as much valuable fall behind. So what do you think will be the d defining Metaverse? What will it actually look Look like do you have an idea about that um, i think uh metaverse is what it will be like uh, it's like a revolution you know when uh, you know let me rewind it in like 50 years ago when we first uh have the web everyone every project have a website right so i think metaverse today it will be a website uh it will bring bring for each company, each project will have their own metaverse, and would be it would be very cool if every metaverse can connect together. And then now we just, you know, just die dying it every day. Like you shut instead of shutting um, the web, like like normal. Now you can freely go around the whole universe. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And would you say, what would you say are the most important things about metaverses? Like, let's say, take a project, a metaverse project. What do you think is the most important? Is it the uh, community? Is it the development work they do? Uh, what, what do you think is like the defining uh, characteristic of a metaverse? What I'm seeing right now is more of the metaverse right now is kind of lonely. It's kind of long, you know, when, when you jump in any metaverse, I still feel it's still lonely. So that's why the community, how people interact with each other in the metaverse is key point of the metaverse. All right. And Linus, maybe you have something to add to that. What do you think? Yeah, you know, um, metaverses will be the defining future you know here so all right all right so uh talking about uh, metaverses talking about blockchain uh you can't help but notice that these things are heavily 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 affected by the crypto market in general so how has that been treating you guys at Roseon? so how are these market con conditions affecting you whether uh have you like experienced uh, quite a big slowdown or are you just building through this uh, through this uh market that's currently quite down so what are your thoughts on that basically uh, actually, I've been, well, I've, I've been in crypto space in 2016. I've already been a lot, a, a lot of cycle up and down. And I think the, when the market is down like that, we should spend more time to research, build, and learn more. So, 
in the in the in the bear market like this, we keep building, we keep prepare for the bull market. Because when the bull market comes, you will have a time to to prepare. You will have a time to uh, uh, you know to keep keep up with that. Exactly so because the right time. Yeah. Exactly because things like uh, developing developing new features or developing a whole whole new ideas making plans they take so much time that by the time you're already in a bull market uh, if you only start doing those things in the bull market the bull market is gone while you're still doing the same things you're, you've started at, at the start of bull market so th the the bear market really is the time to build 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 and uh, maybe Linus can add add to that as well so uh, how important is is building and what are we doing here uh, here at Earth uh, during these times i do agree uh projects uh, take a lot of time to actually build something that is of value to the user and it's not something like uh, crypto has that vibe where you have a great idea and you could potentially have it like in a month or or, or something like that something complex does not happen that fast so you have to prepare uh, through these cycles you have to you know uh, build and uh, and 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 use the the finances you have, you know, to to get to have a great project when when there's a bull run available. You know, there's no other way because if you will start building a project when the bull run has started, you have already lost. So exactly, and uh, so. When did Roseon actually uh, begin their work? Uh, could you maybe uh, talk about that? Like, when did, when did you first launch? When did the app launch? I'm really interested to hear about that. Like, at which part of the market uh, did you launch? I think then you will you will know that you will have a clear answer than me. So uh, right now, uh, so uh, about Roseon, so we launched uh, uh, more than one year ago. So we start the so, uh, we start launching on June two thousand twenty uh, one. So that's the time we lost, and right now we already more than one year, and unassailable. So uh, even in the bear market, so we still uh, acquire user. Uh, so uh, last month, uh, we got selected by uh, BNB chain into the uh, BNB chain accelerator program, uh, Web three in Vietnam. Uh, so we got a lot of support from BNB Chain. We got marketing support. We got advisory from BNB Chain. Uh, they advise us a lot of things. Uh, so uh, uh, when we we present to them about what we are doing and the plan uh, that we we have at the moment, uh, so they advise us uh, because we uh, in, in our app we have the game, we have the play to end game, and our platform is quite simple to you. Uh, and easy for for newbie to onboard into the crypto. So this is one key point. So uh, uh, we design a new journey for for the app user. So when newbies they come to our app, uh, they play the game first, and they own uh, own the point, and then they can use the point to earn uh, the token. So we have the the, uh, the lucky spin. Uh, we call it spin to it a lucky spin where user can use a point and they can earn the real token uh, or the NFT or the merchandise. Uh, so uh, uh, when they earn the token, uh, if they want to maximize the return from uh, from the token, they can uh, just join into the saving or something pool. And we do a lot of education stuff for our user. We build a strong community and we educate our community member about all the feature and we educate them about DeFi, about farming, about saving pool, and then uh, in the pool, maybe in the pool, uh, uh, when the uptrend coming, uh, so we focus a lot on the land part. So we educate them about the land part, how to invest into the token uh, and NFT sale. Awesome. Yeah. And you mentioned education and education is, is actually quite a big part of what we're trying to yeah. achieve here at Eartha. So maybe Linus can add to that as well. Uh, how how important education is to the Eartha project? I'm sure people that are coming from Roseon maybe will have a very easy experience going from Roseon uh, since they're already getting educated there. Maybe if they jump onto Eartha, uh, they can expect to see some of the similar features that we currently have here as well. 
yeah, education is a big part of, of, of ERTA. Uh, when I started to uh, build ERTA as, as, as a game, my first idea was that I don't want to make a project that would only like um, uh, take the time out of the person or only make him pay for uh, the experience that he has. But I want the, the, the person who in, uh, is playing Erta to actually enjoy and to get uh, something back from it. So uh, that something is a lot uh, of education, uh, since when you create your character and you de develop its skills, you will have to, um, let's say, do some quizzes uh, on different subjects that will um, expand your knowledge in real life and uh, also obviously as most of the web3 projects uh, are uh, we want the user to own the assets that he um, creates and to own the money that he is working with inside the game awesome awesome all right, and uh, I actually uh, heard you mention Vietnam, which is where your uh, where Roseon is located. So I'm actually wondering. So uh, how uh, how does Vietnam treat uh, blockchain and crypto? Is it a good place to uh, run a Web three project? Would you say? Could you maybe give us some insight about that? You know what? Uh, at the recent report or analysis, you can see that Vietnam is the top of the country. Is the top one the country that adopt mm -hmm. blockchain. So I believe that Vietnam is a very potential market. Awesome, so awesome. What, yeah. So that's what, and even our government right now is uh, focusing on how to, you know, to create the, the you know, attractive environment for projects that deal on, you know, the blockchain stuff and web three stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I, I wish we could say the same. Well, we're based in Lithuania and maybe maybe Linus can add a few uh, words about how it is managing a blockchain project in Lithuania. Well, it's it's not I wouldn't imply that it's bad, but maybe Linus can uh, explain uh, how it is. Well, I would want to go into politics and stuff inside yeah. this um, ca cast, but uh, well, you know, we can ma manage it. So it's not uh, very easy. But it's not that bad so yeah yeah exactly that's what i would say all right so uh thank you so much for your insights uh both eartha and Roseon communities have surely uh, learned something new today so uh before we wrap up the discussion with the final question uh i want to announce that uh viewers can start posting their own questions in the chat which will uh take a few for eartha and take a few for Roseon, and we'll answer them uh right after we finish this discussion so if you have anything a burning question so to say to ask uh us or uh Roseon, just feel free to ask in the chat and we'll get to them in a few short moments so uh the last question to uh our guests so uh for Roseon first where do you see your project in five years time uh i realize that this whole space is moving so fast that it's really a hard question but maybe you have some insight of where you want the project to be maybe you have a vision of where you're driving the project towards so uh yeah well our vision is like i use more i believe we want to build the whole ecosystem beside roja so right now we have the app right we uh, we have the venture we have the kol we also have the e-commerce which is not very much right now, it's not, we're not focused on that yet, but I believe in five years, we will fully have a, a, a whole ecosystem with the metaverse, with the, the app, you know, and we also want to be, you know, uh, um, kind of, I don't want to be a leader, but I mean, some, to be some company in Vietnam that can encourage um, entrepreneurs to, to start about what we are seeing in five years. Awesome, awesome. And the same question for Linus, where do you see Eartha in like, let's say five years time? Well, five years is a very long time as I imagine. So I do believe we will be able to expand to different types of horizons. I would really want to um, be able to set foot in virtual reality or augmented reality 
I believe uh, five years time is enough to be able to build some, something there too, so that you wouldn't also see the, well, your character or your game experience inside the screen, but you would be able to um, experience it from your first hand, you know, from the eyes that you use in real world. Awesome, awesome. All right, so uh, the very first question from chat, uh, people want to know uh, how the collaboration uh, between Roseon and Eartha look like. So uh, for now, we're just doing uh, quite a big event, uh, quite a big giveaway, but in the future, where could you see uh, Eartha and Roseon going towards? So, Linus, maybe you can answer that. I believe uh, Eartha could be like uh, the metaverse that connects uh, different projects, and I see Roseon as one of our uh, first pro projects who could potentially have integrations with uh, with with what we do. Um, it's hard to say what we can do very fast because um, every integration requires you know a lot of effort from both sides. But I imagine that um, uh, we have well we both our both projects work in crypto space trying to make crypto easy for people to access so i believe we will find ways to do that uh, together yeah awesome and chi chi how do you see uh Roseon integrated into Earth. And maybe you have some key features in mind because we recently integrated KuCoin into our game. And basically that shows uh, players charts of crypto trading, live charts. Uh, and they can also go to the trading website from our game, directly from our game. So maybe you can imagine a few features from Roseon that could uh, be uh, uh, useful in Eartha and uh, work in Eartha. What do you think? You know. I can, you know, I can imagine like uh, if uh, Roseon have a, a building in the Earth Hard Metaverse, so we would love to have uh, some of our game to be available there. We can send you the, the game, and then user can go there and they can play some mini game. And then they also, you know, uh, you can also integrate deep in deep below, and then uh, user can get some point or some token from us, and then they can use that point to go to our app and, you know, and uh, convert to some reward, some reward. And in the future, when we have our own team part, our own metaverse, so we can also integrate that to um, Earth Heart. So the people can, you know, have some way they can go both sides. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Awesome. Uh, all right, I see a few more questions. So uh, this one I can answer. What is the price pool of uh, our joint giveaway? So that's seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars. We're doing a giveaway together with Roseon and Spintop, of course. Uh, so uh, yeah, that answers that question. And I see a very, very good question in the chat here as well. So uh, this goes for both projects. Uh, so what are the marketing plans during the crypto winter? So what are our projects focusing on? So let's start with Roseon uh, during this crypto bear market winter, however you want to call it. So what's the most important uh, marketing part that you really, uh, you know, uh, shine a light on and uh, try to uh, achieve? Uh, so about the marketing plan at Roseon, so uh, actually, for Roseon, we change the plan every two months. So because the uh, the market uh, uh change so so quickly, and we have to adapt with the new trend of the market. Uh, so that's why we we always have to review the marketing plan in every two months. Uh, so and uh, so right now, uh, we already finalized the plan for at least uh uh from this time until by end of the three months. Uh, so, uh, uh, at this time, right, time, we want to build the, the tradis we want to acquire traditional gamer. Uh, we want to build a strong uh, gaming community at Grosian. Uh, and we want to uh, to bring more newbie, crypto newbie into our app. So, uh, today we have the speaking, uh, we have the educa uh, educational speaking at our uh, at one of the uh, uh, most uh, famous university in Vietnam, so we uh, we introduce them. Uh, we introduce them about blockchain, what what blockchain is, and uh, what uh, any uh, opportunity that they can get into uh, to understand to learn about blockchain. We share everything with them and we educate them about the blockchain. 
Uh, so this is the first step uh, we we do to uh, educate uh, uh, educate newbie into the crypto space. And in uh, next month we 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 already plan for some World Cup event. So this going gonna be big, and we want to acquire more of uh, traditional and uh, crypto newbie into the app and uh, try to educate them. So that's the plan for Rosia. Awesome, awesome. And I think I can answer this for Eartha uh, quite in a similar way. Uh, so like we mentioned before about the whole Web3 space and metaverse is really turning into uh, one gi giant uh, moving thing that's uh, basically every single project is somewhat connected. Um, I think partnerships are really the most important part of uh, survival during these uh winter crypto winter conditions because when you go hand in hand with a lot of projects when you have a lot of people on your side it really is that much easier to uh survive adapt and overcome these conditions uh and that's what you got to do in, the, in this situation right uh you gotta you gotta find new partners you gotta find new ways to let people know about your project you got to find new communities uh communities are super important uh they the people that support you during these times are uh vital to uh, really make the project shine out of anything because if people support you during these times they're going to support you no matter what so uh that's really 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 important in this type of uh situation in this type of market we are finding ourselves in uh all right so uh i see a few people people asking in the chat about the burning question you you could say so maybe linus will be able to answer and give some insight about what we're doing with eartha and uh, uh what are we working on and about basically about development and uh, about the next update. Maybe you can update us about that. Actually, we'll, we are working on uh, quite a few things at once. Um, it's um, it's kind of hard to make quick updates uh, that um, have uh, me meaning uh, for the players. You know, since uh, when we create a game, we have the whole uh, infrastructure of different things that has to work together to uh, make the whole experience for the player really good. So it includes, you know, all the blockchain part with the wallets, with the economy, how it works. Um, it includes all the game economy part where we have the buildings, the um, companies, the warehouses, all the items that are there, you know, the traveling uh, through one hex to another hex. Um, there's also that part with all the multiplayer stuff. Since we have the first person view, we want people to be able to engage with other players while doing that, to be able to see each other, uh, chat with each other, you know, uh, do probably some mini games while they're inside the game uh, th there's also our battle module that is under construction where we have you know since we will have po politics and wars inside the game uh, there will be that we are b building a, a module that will uh, potentially be something like a war inside uh, Eartha and uh, we are upgrading our gra graphical engine uh, since um, uh, at first, we, we thought we will be able to create Arita only on browser, uh, like a browser experience. But uh, with the sheer um, scope of Arita, it seems that it's not possible to have that kind of experience inside the browser. So we switched to uh, the app that is downloadable and uh, a, a mobile version of it also. So uh, it's uh, unlocked uh, an ability for us to uh, do much more with the graphics. So we are doing much more with the graphics also. So you can expect uh, uh, some visual, like not some, but big visual improvements for the game also. So as I've said, we all the things that I'm talking about are being worked on at once, you know, so it's hard to pick one thing and just do that. Uh, if we would do like uh, just one thing and then release it and then go to another part, the game would take much longer time to develop in well as as a whole. And we are uh, trying really hard to fit inside our schedule. So uh, what we have to do is we have to focus on many stuff at, at once and not release like small small updates. So that that's what we're doing now. But obviously we will do. Uh, um, 
those releases and uh, the upcoming uh, one that I hope we will be able to uh, produce as soon as possible is to show people uh, the possibly the graphical updates of what uh, downloadable uh, Eartha could have instead of like uh, a web uh, version one. Exactly, because that's also what I've been talking about in the uh, community, the Eartha community, that uh, the game has really a bunch of different modules, right? So it's a module, that's a module, so multiplayer is a module, play to learn, play to earn, and things like that. They're all modules, right? And if you start work on them separately, uh, you put all your resources into one, and then you release it and then you work on another separately you have to still interconnect them and it just takes so much more time to just completely focus on one thing then release it then focus on a, on a different thing and then release it and that would just take so much more time that it's it would be incredibly hard to fit into any kind of schedule so having the ability for the developers to work on the whole flow at the same time will just really smooth out the uh, development progress uh, the process that we've been uh, doing this past Past year basically uh, and uh, and yeah and hope hopefully uh, you guys will be able to see what we've been working on soon I well we've actually quite uh, kind of seen it already ourselves and I can tell you it's pretty exciting so uh, so yeah hopefully we can look forward to that that really really soon uh, all right so uh, I see a very very good question that could wrap up the whole thing uh, it's a perfect question basically so uh, that would be uh, for Rosie on first um, so what what is your favorite feature about Web3. Um, what do you think uh, is the defining thing of Web3 that of Web3 that's basically your favorite? Could you uh, give a little bit of insight towards that? I think uh, well, we, we all know that Web1. Let's let we uh, Web1. Uh, Web1 is where you only can read the information, right? And then Web2, you can you not only read, but you can also write. So it's like you, you interact with the, the platform, with the website, you can write a lot, you can read the information, but you actually, you don't owe anything. Everything is is beyond the, the server of the platform. So what makes the web team most interesting, you can owe something. I think the, you know, the ownership is what makes uh, Web2 more interesting because uh, um, when you can actually hold your, 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 your data, your asset, your token, your NFT, everything, you owe it. No one can, you know, can steal it from you. So I think it's, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so the ownership. And uh, Linus, what about you? Is that is it the same for you, or do you have some sort of other defining feature of Web three that uh, you would put even even uh, uh, ahead of uh, NFTs and ownership and things like that? Well, for a game like Earth, uh, Web three is uh, something that I've been looking for 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 forever. You know, uh, I've played a lot of games that where you well you do have you know your own items you do have like uh, the currency that uh, the the game is based on but uh, as soon as the game says you know like uh, yeah we are closing or or uh, we need to reset the server that you're playing on and you have to start from the scratch so um well web3 changes that you actually start to own the assets that you play with, which is a huge difference than from what is usual at at the moment. And I, I was really looking for a way to make uh, people earn from playing a game for quite some time, even before it was possible to do with smart contracts and blo blockchain, you know, um, as soon as, you know, Bitcoin started, it wasn't really that obvious that you could potentially use it for a game. And uh, we've started, well, I've started thinking about Eartha probably at the time that uh, that the Bitcoin was just getting its momentum, you know. And, uh, and uh, when I've seen that the idea of actually uh, connecting a game with a blockchain uh, is possible, it made so much sense to connect uh, such game with it so that's i'm really 
excited about you know the future of of of, of this game and the web three space by itself awesome awesome all right so uh that was an awesome final question for our live segment so that wraps our wraps up wraps up our ama uh now there's only one thing left to do and that is to reveal the exclusive code uh which our viewers will be able to use to get 10 extra entries in the giveaway and uh, the link is in the chat for the giveaway itself and the code is rose for eartha i'm posting it in chat multiple times so make sure to use that and win exclusive nft and token prizes uh prizes and the nft land you can use in eartha to earn lifetime revenue so make sure to uh join our community at discord.gg slash eartha uh, follow us on twitter at at eartha game and rosion could you shout your socials out as well so the eartha community knows where to join maybe danny could uh talk about the links and the where the viewers could head to uh follow rosion on uh, okay, so how we can, how I can put the link on? So, uh, if you want to search, uh, looking for more information about Rosion, so we have the website rosion.org, and for the Twitter, uh, you can search on a uh, uh, Twitter handle is Rosion uh, Rosion World. So you can follow us on uh, Twitter, and also so, uh, for our community. So our community is uh. Uh, the name of, of the community is uh, uh, Rosion. Uh, so let uh, uh, Ayon, can you uh, help me to uh, to uh, to copy the link on the chat? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll post the uh, uh, which platform link do you want to copy? Uh, the Twitter. Yes, yeah, so the Twitter. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Let perfect. Me send to you. Perfect. Yeah, I'll just post it in chat real quick. I found it on my own. It's fine. Uh, there you go, guys. Go follow Rosie on World on there. Uh, also, Link uh, Link Tree. They have a Link Tree page, so make sure to just click that on their Twitter description, and you'll see all of the uh, uh, necessary uh, community links from there. All right, so perfect. So, uh, Danny Chi, do you have any final words before we sign off? Uh, sign off off of the stream. Okay, so it's nice to be here. So. Uh uh it's also uh i was also happy to uh, to be partnered with Ulta. so you know Ulta, uh so during the bear market Ulta have a lot of updates so uh at first they have the uh, the integration with kukai and uh Ulta also uh we work with Ulta for a long time and we we run the, a lot of uh marketing uh, campaign with them so it's really nice uh it's worth it's worth very nice to work with Ulta and uh, i'm very happy to be uh, part of the uh, post postcard today so nice to meet you all awesome awesome and uh, chi do you have some something to add yeah i mean yes i'm very um you know i'm very thankful for 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 this um stream and i thank you all for keep building keep working and keep spreading the your work and uh, I would love to have more and more uh, further uh, collaboration. Awesome, awesome. S same uh, right back at you. We, we would love to do the same. So, Linus, your final words for the stream? Yeah, so it's a pleasure to meet you both here with in, in this podcast. And I'm really looking forward to see the metaverse that, that you're building. We might be able to uh integrate them uh, inside uh, Ertha and uh, vice versa so it was very nice to chat with you and to uh, meet rosen community so thank you awesome awesome all right so uh, a huge thank you to rosian again for joining us today it was wonderful having you on and again we definitely look forward to more collaborations in the future we'll see what we can do and hopefully that will be some in-game integrations or things like that we'll see all right so as well our viewers thank you so much for tuning in as always you'll find us on our socials and in our communities make sure to come there and ask us questions if you want and uh yeah we'll see you next time this is the earth of metaverse signing out <laughs>